Hi everybody, welcome back to another Steam Deck video and in this one we're going to be looking at Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Steam Deck. <laughs> this still amazes me. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using um, Xbox Cloud Gaming, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Game Streaming to play this. Now in the description below this video you'll see a link to the Microsoft Help article that tells you how to install. Um, basically you're installing Microsoft's Edge internet browser. Um, and then you're streaming these games from a server to your Steam Deck. And as long, well, in my experience, as long as you're on your, you're on your home Wi-Fi and you've got even below average broadband, it works incredibly well. Um, and it is a subscription service. It costs you about twelve ninety nine in the UK a month, sixteen ninety nine dollars in uh, in America. However, for that, you're getting access to about four hundred games in the cloud. Uh, on your PC, if you've got a game PC, there's there's a few more. You get about 447 games. And also on your console, 369. Not different games, but kind of different pools of games. So if you're into playing lots of different games, um, it is, um, I don't know, I think it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. It's quite a compelling offer, especially as it does seem to work so well. So I've tested it quite a lot. My home Wi-Fi works very well. Work, working off a mobile internet hotspot didn't work well at all, so I'm, I wouldn't recommend it for that. But for anybody who really enjoys playing lots of different games, um, and you don't want to use up all the storage on your Steam Deck, and you want long battery life as well, because that's what this also gives you, because in effect you're just running a browser, an internet browser, that's connected with the controls to a server in the cloud, you're not stressing the uh, APU in in the steam deck in the same way that you would with a natively um, installed game now microsoft flight simulator if you've played it on pc or console you'll know that it takes forever to fire up anyway so this delay that you're seeing now isn't anything unusual you know it's not specific to the steam deck um but the fact that if you've got a steam deck and you haven't got a pc that could run say microsoft flight simulator or a console i mean this is this is as you'll see it's pretty amazing now i think the limitation with this is that you can't really download any of the big dlcs uh, that you the optional ones that you've bought so for example i have purchased the spitfire from microsoft flight simulator so i don't think i can download that because it's a huge file i think it's like uh um like 100 is it no it's like 30 gigabytes i think so I don't think you think I haven't done any testing to see whether you can you can do it or not, but I don't I don't think you can. So you'd be limited to kind of the vanilla stuff, but you do get. I'm pretty sure all the world updates are already pre-installed for you and things like that. And the fact that you can just do this anyway is pretty amazing. And this is a huge game; um, it's well over a hundred gigabytes. <laughs> so you know, would you really want to install that natively, even if you could? Because I know that one of the ways I was thinking about playing Xbox Game Pass games was I was going to either do a dual boot, so half of my Steam Deck was Windows, or I was going to have an SSD with Windows on. But there's lots of compromises with that, mainly the fact that you're not getting Steam OS, which we know is so amazing in terms of uh, the controls that you can have. Um, so let's go. So, if you, for example, if you look in my hangar, uh, there we go, and then we can change the aircraft so all these are all the aircraft the vanilla ones and the ones i've bought i suppose we could see couldn't we let's go to one that i've right. where's the spitfire does it even list it It might not even list it actually as something that I can install, which is fair enough. So what we'll do, we won't, let's choose something a little bit more sedate for flying around in. The Robin. That looks cool, doesn't it? Let's choose the Robin. Go back and then let us then come out of here. And let's go to the world map. Now remember with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate on streaming, you are playing the console versions of these games. Uh, tell you what, why don't we go down to Gibraltar? There 
there we go and let's set that as the departure and let's fly so you can see what the experience is now you'll see it running along at 30 frames a second that's because what that's what it runs at on console um i think on pc you can get it higher you know I'm, when i play this on pc i play up to 60 frames a second um but you know there's got to be a limit somewhere i guess haven't there and i think one of the big advantages for game pass streaming on the steam deck is the fact that it is 1280 by 800 so it doesn't have to squash that 1080p or 1440p or even a 4k image you know down through your broadband um, and then display it um, and uh, that's probably why yeah, you know it, it works so well so there we go so we're ready to fly and here we are there's Gibraltar. there's the rock of Gibraltar. Here we are, a little aeroplane. Um, right, let's see if I can remember some of the controls. So, throttle up, brakes off. You can look around the cockpit. I remember with Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can go anywhere. And maybe one of the things about this is the fact that it is a the the way that Microsoft Flight Simulator works is that it streams the environment um, to your PC or to your console anyway. It's not like it's got the whole of the world stored away. Um, and so, it, you know, it's playing to a streaming strength. Oh, we need to... It doesn't like the fact that we're uh, not climbing fast enough. I must admit, I'm not sure how... I've never flown this aeroplane before, so I don't know how much power it has. Are we up at full... Yeah, we're up at full power, but I guess it doesn't have that much power. Let's buzz these cruise liners. Now, I have got lots of assists on, so sometimes it can be a little bit like the game's trying to fight you because it's <laughs> trying to get you to fly properly. Let's fly in between them. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Look at that. Fantastic. Obviously with Flight Simulator you can customise everything from the weather. Really beautiful looking game. Come round the southerly side of the rock. So, I, th I think many, many years ago, I was lucky enough to go to Gibraltar as a kid, and I'm pretty sure. We went to that beach there. <laughs> it was either that beach or this beach, I think. I remember the you know the, the white face of the rock was kind of behind us. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. So, if you're thinking about checking out Xbox Game Pass game streaming using uh, Game Pass Ultimate on your Steam Deck, it's definitely worth checking out. Get one of those offers if you can, where you can try it out for a month for a dollar um, just so you can see whether it really suits your internet connection um, at home and again I think that is the UK scenario for Game Pass Ultimate Game Streaming is at home you know having access really quick access to lots and lots of um, different games without having to fill up the storage on your uh, on your Steam Deck or you know and get massive amounts of um, battery life as well and 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 just check it out um I'm, I'm a convert i think it's amazing um yeah so put your questions and comments down below um if you like the video hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon